What's up, YouTube? Jersey Gamer 9000 is back on screen for more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we climbed up Death Mountain and we proved, with the help of the Iron Boots, of course, that we can enter Goron Mines. And in this episode, we're gonna. Well, we're gonna do Goron Mines now, the second temple of the game. And we'll walk to a great start, as I died already. Now, right here, there's a crate. Well, it was a crate, but I thought I was gonna get a heart. I guess I didn't. I don't remember the like one time I I played this game, I could not for the life of me make these jumps, and I kept dying because I could not I could not like get through it. It was so stupid. Anyway, we hit this, and this fire thing will stop. Oh, you! We still made it though. Uh, we have another switch here, it looks like. Just in case, let me just make sure. Okay, good. Alright, so this is gonna stop the other one. We're ready for that. This first part, this first area always confuses me. Oh, we also want to go this way because we won't be able to. Excuse me! I don't know who hit me, but that's. That's stupid. What? Who is who? Who is shooting at me? Trying to piss me off. All right, let's jump here. Let's get with this guy. Seems to be like a stupid person. Uh, I don't want the ruby. Let's see what this is. It's a twenty ruby chest. Okay. We might be missing a treasure chest, but whatever. We can always come back here and get it. You can actually climb up a ladder. Not that ladder. I don't know if there's another ladder that you can climb. I'm not too concerned about it. Um. Okay, the where you're supposed to go is jump over here. Over here. Uh, we'll go this way first, I'm pretty sure. Get rid of him. Uh, obviously jumping down would be kind of pointless. Um, I think what we want to do actually is go this way first. Wait, do we? Yeah. Get rid of him. Before we, uh, press the switch because he will block us. Come advancing and then we'll miss the time. Okay, so now that one will switch. Yeah, this whole room is about switches already. The first room of the dungeon. And we're already dealing with switches. I tell ya. Alright, so that's not too bad. Okay, stand on here and put on your iron boots. And that will open the way to continue. So if you miss that jump, there is a easy there is a way to easily just get back up. So it's not too too important that you miss that you make it in one shot. Point that out. Good. I want a heart. I want a heart. I want the heart. All right, let's continue. First room done, and now we're in the main hub. This is gonna be like that room where you always visit again at a later point, and then you do some more stuff so you can advance. You know, there's always one of these rooms. First thing I'm gonna do is head over here because it's a secret treasure. First, let's give it to these idiots before we deal anything with secret treasures. That guy didn't want to die, so he dies, and then I do that. I don't care about that, so let's just get this. This should be a key or the map? It's the key. Okay, it's a small key. I should have figured that it was going to be a key because we didn't have any animation. And of course, animation is the key of everything. Uh, from here, we go this way. Okay, now we gotta deal with these, with this platform. Oh my god! I almost died twice, and if you came this way first, you see that 
there's a key that you need to open this door. So, thank God we went the other way first. And that's that. This is... Alright. Where are... What room are we in now? Oh, we're in this room. Oh, we have... The, the Gondos. Or somewhat relatives of them. I don't know if that's their if that's what their exact purpose is. But whatever, he's dead he's dead. We can grab that heart. Why not? Alright. Quickly go over there before. Shouldn't have known that was gonna happen. Uh are you gonna give me hearts? No. Get out of here. Are you gonna give me a heart? No. Get out of here. Nope. Nothing. There's one. Okay. I'm kinda nervous about this guy! Once again, hit him in the tail. Not that hard. Give me a heart. I hate you too. Okay, make sure you kill all these guys because it's going to be very important that we do. Alright, that should be fine enough. I don't care if we get full health. It's not like we get sword beams if we have full health. So that would be kind of interesting to incorporate that into a Zelda game. A Zelda 3D game. Which they really haven't done. They've only done, done that in the 2D one. Where you get the sword beams. I guess it would be overkill. Okay, so you want to push this out. Uh, of course. And make your way over here before that thing closes, because that's what you pulled out before. So there you go. There's that room. We're doing relatively good. Okay, now this room. This room starts a mechanic of this temple. One that is cool, but annoying at the same time, because it takes so long to get through it. Because you're going so slow. I am Boots. I can end the other 3D. Let's you sink. Under the water, you hit this switch, and now we get attached to this electric uh, floor here, and you can go upside down, and you can get onto the side. It's kind of cool, but eh, you know, I mean, it's okay. It's just I don't know. Anyway, we can go this way now. We're just going room through room here, and what do we have here? Seems to be a guy. Uh, are you like on fire or something? What's going on with you? Ah, I thought I felt a presence, but we're surprised by a young human. Word has come to me of you, and if Kor and if uh, and if Gokoron has faith in you, then my heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron elders. Goramantu is my name. You are a human, please. You must okay, just give me like this. We get a key shard. We need all three uh, key shards to uh, do something with them. For now, this seems to be an important treasure chest because they were having an emanation. And of course, it's the dungeon map. Okay, that's right, the map. Hold on one second. I'm pretty sure there's a secret treasure. Yes, there is right here. Uh, probably 10 rubies. Oh, pay 20 rubies. Good enough. Yeah, they give you plenty of ruby treasure chests, so I'm not. That's why when I see a ruby fall down, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, let's not get that. So, hooray for that. Uh, I think we have to climb here so we can continue on. Oh, look what we got here. Fine. I wanted to use my sword to break it, but the game wouldn't let me. Phew. Free at last. Crisis. You did a nice fellow helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Yes. We got a code. And now we can actually use them to get out of the dungeon. Which I'm actually going to show off right now. Because I didn't do that last time. So we're going to do it now. 
So if you use him, oh, you want to leave? You want to warp out now? You can turn here, and there are no worries. Let's warp out. Ah, yes. Now leave it to me. Let me introduce you. This is my. This is. Oh, oh, cuckoo, Junior. Anytime you want to warp back to the spot from outside, just ask him if you want to meet me at the entrance rather than warping here. Just go there, and I'll meet you. Now, bombard you two. Really what the? Yeah, we just kind of like warp. And we just go here, and now he is where he. And now, the junior guy is where he is. So, if we use him, you want to go back to my mama? I guess that's a girl. We just figured. And we just kind of, like, go back. Well, well, welcome back. Without further ado, we're off. All right. So, this one, just show that off. Now we can go this way. Did I do that? No, we have to go back. Oh, well. That's okay. So, that's how that works, though. Let me just put that there. And let's put this here. Oh, you can't use your sword in this room because of uh, because of the room we're in. Okay, that makes more sense now. All right, let's get the slingshot out, shall we? No. Huh. Can we use this? Yeah. Okay, we can. Oh, maybe, maybe we can't. Alright, then let's go this way. So let's get our... Oh, we can't roll while we're here, huh? That's fine, then we'll just go this way then. Alright, that seemed to have worked out, and now we're on a higher level. So now we sort of go back the way we came. And then we reach a higher level. We hit this switch. And now, guess what? We're on the roof! Of the, if you go to the up C mode, your perspective will be Link's perspective, um, and the floor is there. It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, though, when you go back to this mode, you're in uh, you're, you're, you can tell that you're upside down. But when you know when you're in the other mode, you're not. It's kind of cool. Am I going in the right direction? There's two paths you want to take. One path leads to a piece of car, which I don't even think I'm going to that at the very moment. Let me see if it's this way before I do anything. That's probably not. I think I'm going the wrong way, but it's whatever. If it's not this way, then we're gonna have to just go around, that's all. We can always do that. Actually, let me just look around here. No, see, it won't, it won't be over there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna turn around. Oh boy, here we go. I tell ya! This is, just, this is that part in the dungeon where... I don't know. We're on a ceiling. And it's just kind of annoying to be honest. But we definitely need to go this way. Can I use my sword? Oh, I can. He gone! I know it seems like we, we kind of went around in a circle, and we technically did, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest right over here that we kind of want. 
But I went around in a complete circle to get to it, but that's okay. And we can take it off. So we can get down here. And this is going to be the first of two pieces of heart. Unfortunately, we won't get the heart container. Because we'll have one left over. Too bad. But that's okay. Alright, let's just ignore that guy. Because he's not going to bother us. They go slow and whatever. All right, now we gotta kind of backtrack again to get back to where I was before. On the other side of this room. The good news, the good part about this is that the map tells you like where you can walk. You know, that's where all that green is. Which is a very good thing. I like to how they did that. The map does the map does help in this instance. Now we just take this nice little turn here. Stay on this side. Because, you know, if you look at the map, the green path on up here leads to the doors. And the other one kind of leads to a dead end against the corner of the room, so you kind of don't want that. Now, once you're where those torches are, that's where you want to get off. And we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go head back to that main area. In this so you're, you know, you're not concerned about missing, I like to go all the way over here. And that's where we find the ball. Now we're back into this room. Alright, here we go. Huh, three guys seem to be guarding a switch. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what they want. Hello, boys! Or thing. He gone! Oh, wait, there's four of them here? Or did I just not kill one of them? Or that one did not... Or did he not go over the edge like I thought he did? Whatever. Uh, why is that out there? I don't want that. Alright, so what that's supposed to gonna do is that's gonna move that thing... ...to there. And then move it over here. And what that's going to do is create a shortcut... ...from the beginning... ...from the beginning... ...we'll just let it go. Okay, see, that's where we started when we got the key. Because the key was down there. We'll use our iron boots so we can get it on top of here. And now it'll take us to the, uh, to the, to the way forward. It's very exciting. I did not mean to do that. Or that. Get out of here. Did I say live? No, I said die. Thank you. Now let's do this, and this switch will move another one over. This one is just back and forth. This doesn't go into a, a different path. At least I don't think it does. Get out of here. Did I say you can live? No. And I did not say you can live either. So because I didn't say you can live, you die. Alright, what do we got here? Anything important? No secret treasure chests anywhere. Nothing that's... Two out of the ordinary here. Let's move on. There's a lot of treasure chests, uh, treasures in this area, in this temple. Oh boy. Yeah, boomerang. It's not an attacking weapon. Oh, he he kind of didn't jump at the right time there. Did I kill them all? I think I did. I think. I did. I think. I think I did. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's a secret treasure chest right here, so I'd say we go down there and get it. And we got a... small key, so it's a treasure chest. That's very important. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got a closed gate, apparently. And a switch. One... That maybe the 
this can help us with. Oh, maybe not. Huh. Well, that sucks. You know, we seem to have a thing over here where we can maybe push. Hooray! Okay. Let's go over here. This seems to be another way. Let's see what this does. Okay. Hooray! For jumping and then going up from the jump. Alright. I do like the fact that we, like, get pulled. Seriously. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Jump, iron boots, don't hit the ground. We get to go up. I do like the fact that we get pulled. Okay, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to be uh, funny there, but I didn't work out as well as I thought I was going to. Alright. Okay, good. We finally landed on the right spot. Um... Now you want to hit this, and what's going to happen is that's going to activate that warp thing, which now is going to lend us across the thing, and now what we have to do is jump down, put the iron boots on while we jump. And hope that we get caught by the uh, current. And there you go. So we'll take this nice leisurely path to the top here, just so we can get here. Nice little secret treasure chest right here, probably containing like rubies, yeah, 20. Okay, now we can hit this one for a sword, and that opens that. Let's quickly go over here. Okay, kill those idiots. Oh, I didn't kill them yet. This switch gets us back over there, but we don't want to go back over there because there's nothing for us over there. Uh, what we want to do is climb this. We want to go this way first, if I'm not mistaken. Because I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, one leads to a treasure chest and one leads to the way in or out or whatever it is called. Here's the secret treasure chest. It's the other piece of heart! So there's the two pieces of heart, that wasn't too bad. And now, ooh, and now we're gonna head the right way. I'm really on the edge here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care, as long as we uh, get past this. Okay, we have a rope. Use our sword, and we can easily get us across. Hooray for that. Alright. No, oh, I shouldn't have got that. Whatever, let's just keep going. We have the key, we're all set. So what room are we going into now? Okay, another big room. A room that... Ugh. We have to come back for. Took about two a couple times as well. Uh, the people are just throwing... Throwing arrows at us like they like they, like they mean it. Like they want to kill us or something. Oh wait, they do want to kill us. There's a lot of treasure chests in this area, but we since we got to come back here anyway, I'm not going to focus on... That's a key door. I'm not going to focus on getting them all right now. Since we got to come back here anyway. And we can't go that way. So, looks like we're going this way. We can't go that way. Which way am I going again from here? Okay, we can't do anything with that. Oh, well, here's one of them right here. We might as well get one. Might as well get it. Oh, there. That's the small key. Okay, well, that worked out for us. I don't know why I was in that kind of treasure chest. That's the thing about this game. Sometimes the treasure chests kind of throw you off. Because you don't think that that small chest holds the key, but it does. And now that leads us to this room. Wow, I can't I, I, I can't believe we're in this room already. This isn't a very long... Really. 
as a bad thing, this isn't a long temple, but of course when you do stupid shit like this, it turns into a long temple. I did it two times in a row. I jumped off because I can't see what I'm doing, apparently. Listen, how many times do we gotta tell you to not just randomly roll off to jump off? Alright, let's get on top of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, I'm gonna stop here, and we're pretty much gonna do this. Now we're gonna wait till this thing to turn completely. And then we should be able to make it! Oh, thank god. Let's go in here. Oh, we seem to have one of these rooms. We can't use our sword in here because this is like a... Oh, there we can't do- Ah! The young human, I am pleased to see that you made it this far. Brother, I am one of the four elders of the Goron tribe. I am called Gor... Elz... Ebzo... Ebzo... Ebzozio... Yazuzo... Okay, forget about that. I have heard of the plight of our patriots, otherwise you would not be able to come to see me. Yes, we got another key shard! We need all three shards to return the big key to its original shape. Okay. Very interesting way to get the big key, I do have to say so myself. Hmm, we need to get the hero's weapon, huh? I wish I kind of read that more. Is there a secret treasure chest in here? I think there is. Really? So does this roll right past the treasure, or why not? And that's the one that has the yellow ruby. See, I knew one of them had the yellow ruby. Alright, I think we're done in here. i see you later, Mr. Elder Goron, dude. Episode, I will talk to you some at a time. Even though I don't think we will ever see him again, except maybe in the credits sequence. Now, we have to figure out a way to get over there. Never mind, there was a way to get up there. We do have to get to the top somehow. Is there a ladder in here somewhere? Oh my god! A ladder right in front of my face. I knew there was a way to go up. There had to have been. Alright, so now we're up here. And where do we go from here, you ask? This way. Alright, so now we can use our iron boot to get across. And really, once you're over that platform, no reason to keep the iron boots on. Because if you look at this, I love this view, by the way. You know. It looks pretty cool if, you, if I do say so myself. How are we looking? Nah, a little more. Yep, I think we're good. Alright. Let's grab this. Let's see what we got. Another yellow ruby treasure chest. That's decent. Ah, uh, we don't need to break those. Let's go this way. Alright, so we seem to have a transition there. Door seems to be closing. Here we go. Guess what time it is, guys? That's right, mid-boss. Here we go. This is the partridge of the Goron tribe, the one that we're here to save. Sort of. Now what you want to do is use your sword and hit him in the belly. I don't know what just happened there.
I don't know why that just happened. Was I supposed to use my iron boots? I guess I was. All right, here we go. Iron boots. Keep them on. No, this. No, hit him. Now, grab. What? Well, I I I grabbed you. Let me get out this way. Grab and throw. Ah, oh, I miss. We really need to be closer to the edge. Because you want to try and throw them off. Alright, let's do it again. Not a very hard mini boss. I just kind of screwed up in the beginning. Kind of want to go to the side. So when you throw him, he falls to the lava. Enough. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, come on! I did it! Alright, let's do this again. Get in the lava, ya boy! He gone! Human for keep such feats of strength. Huh? Maybe you are? Are you going to see the partridge of our tribe? Mm. Ah, so that is why you're here. In that case, take the weapon of the year of the past. If I didn't exchange, you must say the partridge of our tribe. Okay, so maybe this isn't the partridge. Hmm, I thought it was. No, honestly, I thought it was. <laughs> Alright, so the doors have opened. At least that's what—at uh, least that's what you think it, it is. I mean, I don't know. It's whatever. Let's just get the the hero weapon. I mean, I wonder what the hero's weapon could be. I mean, so. What else was it in all the other Zelda games? It was none other than... The Hero's Bow! The score on treasure once belonged to the Hero of Legend. It can hold up to 30 arrows. This makes Slingshot useless. It does. So, yeah, the Slingshot now is sort of like a thing from the past. Now we just use arrows and we just... Oh. Well, apparently I hit them both at the same time. That wasn't the plan, but it's what happened. And now we get to use the Hero's Bow pretty much right off the bat. Oh. Hero's Bow can kill those guys. Don't these guys... Whatever, that's just... Nope, not you. Not you. You? No, not you. You? This? Get out of here. Okay, well, I'll take the arrows, I guess. Whatever. Where do I go? Is it you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're alive. Help me. Ah! Alright. Well, just like any other Beemos, you use your arrows to kill them. And once you use your arrows to kill them, this area becomes a little easier. We'll get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. He gone. He gone. Oh, I did not even see that and I got him. That's that's how skilled I am at this point. Uh this way? And you can actually move these guys once they're not like evil. And we have a secret treasure. <coughs> All right, just cut the, cut the throat there for a minute there. And now you can see that, excuse me, that there's a bunch of items still to find. 
One there. No, not that. Move. No, move. How do you move the map? Oh, there you go. I guess I wasn't in the right spot. One there, one there. Two there. In fact, we can't even get one of those treasures as of yet anyway. But that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna head this way. Because the map says that this is a dead end, and dead ends are normally ways we should go. Just to clear it out. And the fact that this is actually a required dead end. Because it's another elder. An elder that will be seen a lot of, actually. And we get the key, uh, the big key by combining all the shards. Awesome. Yes. We'll be seeing him uh, actually throughout the uh, game. We'll be seeing him later. Let's just put it that way. And there's 50 rubies. And that's this area. No second floor in this one. I gotta say, we're making some good time here. Even though it's been approximately 35-ish minutes. I can't believe I hit this guy in one hit. Just by like aiming out of sight, because I knew who was there. I can't believe I got him. Man, that was a lucky shot, because I didn't even see it. I was going to keep shooting until I found until I found it, too. Alright, so now we're in another room. A room that makes us... Well... It makes us use the arrows wisely. Get out of here, freaking keys. Get out! I don't want to see you. I want to kill him. He gone! Roll into this to knock it down. And now we need to use our arrows. Because we can just... Do that. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. He gone. Let's just go over here. We'll get a better angle. He gone. Got all explosions all over the place. All right. here because yep you guessed it if the cutscene wasn't obvious enough we get the shooting arrow upside down on the ceiling so we can open the door now oh, wait hold on the problem is, is that yeah you're upside down you're kind of like in a bad angle but that's okay wait where is it You. Annoying. Stop breathing fire. No. I said stop breathing fire! Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a while. Oh, let's take that off because we're never gonna get there. <laughs> that stupid... The, the, the Gondo is in a bad spot. The fact that he can breathe fire doesn't even help. Wait, I might be able to get him now. Oh, stop doing that. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop facing me. Turn around. Hey, you know. Oh. Apparently, uh, apparently that worked. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Was, I didn't even know I was hitting him. Alright, am I up there? It is. Got it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're on the verge of ending this. Here we go. 
First things first, if you go over here, there's a secret treasure chest. Now this is normally, the, this is the first treasure chest I actually got that I couldn't hold in my first playthrough. Um, we'll get more on that, we'll get more what happens when we actually had that instance. But for right now, we don't need to worry about that. Because I haven't been collecting as many rubies. Do I hit that or do I hit this? I hit that, okay. Here we go. I send another switch. Yes, it is. No, I'm switch. Press the switch. Oh, look at this. And now we're going over here. An area we've been to before that we're now going to again. New enemies in this area, actually. Some water things. Ones I really don't want to deal with, so we're, gonna, we're going up here. Get out of here, boy. I didn't say you can live. Arrows make this room easier as well. Did I hit it? No, I didn't. Now I hit it. There you go. You guys are back, but I really care less about them. Be gone. And be gone. Uh, we could stun these guys if we really wanted to, but... I don't know if you really want to waste the arrows on that. But I did it anyway, because you know what? Why not? And now we're back in this room. Now that I know where the treasure chest is... easily get it. However, a couple of bad guys we gotta get rid of first. Why aren't you guys shooting at me? <laughs> I was clearly out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, down here. Down here. Down here. Uh, oh, you can use your sword, okay. I didn't know you could. That's good to know. In any event, it's per it's a purple ruby worth fifty. And that other treasure chest on screen we cannot get yet. We have to come back with a later item in order to get it. Now I need to figure out how to get onto this ladder. Alright. There's another passageway over here we have to go. Because now that we have this, the arrows, we can shoot this guy. And God, I'm down to my last one, my last arrow already. There we go. Now we at least we have 21. Okay, so this what this is gonna do is bring that down, and it's actually gonna take us to the top more, which is very exciting. Some more. Oh, well, I, apparently I hit something that killed me. Alright. Uh, anything else over here? I think we're good. Okay, here's the switch we want. What this is gonna do is gonna activate this. And it's gonna go over there. Alright. I was kind of nervous about at first as we kind of can see what we need to do. About like one video with these some of these temples. Because some of these temples can be have to go on top of this. Some of these temples can be relatively long. So there might be some temples in this game that two videos may go because I don't want to I, wanted, I don't want it to be too, too long. 
I mean, I don't know. Okay, there you go. That activates the way. Now, the treasure chest that's on screen is... Not over there. Where is it? It's right on top of here. We, on the other hand, cannot get over there. In fact, I'm trying to figure out how you get over there at this very moment in time. No, actually, I do know how to get there, but I'm trying to figure out where you would actually, like... Oh, it's right there. There's a the treasure chest. Is that it right there? No, that's the thing. I'm not concerned much enough about it anyway. Let's just head back. This is what I get for trying to look for it upside down. Let's just get over here. Fall down. Do like this. You walk over here. You can see that there is no treasure chest up there, and it's up there. There is no treasure chest right here. It's not here. It's nowhere to be found. Because it's above us. We'll come back at a later time to get it, though. Because we are going to get every treasure chest. I am going to show where all treasures are. Even if they're just rubies. Okay, now we're pretty much on the verge of being done with this temple. Boss is right where that purple dot is. I love how Link's arrow is just like, yep, I don't care about your arrow, I'm just gonna shoot through it. And you actually see the arrow, like, get deflected. You, I don't like you, so you're gonna go into the lava. You, I don't like you, so you're gonna go into the lava. Where's my thing? Okay, here we go. Let's do that. No, I want this. I want the milk on the screen. We're gonna just get the first helping out of the way here. So we still have a milk in there, which is fine. Let's get the arrows. Oh, hello, boys. I didn't know you were coming to play. Oh. One more guy wants to play. God, ooh, I don't know, I did not mean to do that. Oh, there's still one more. Or two, or three. Oh, they're all probably still alive if I didn't kill them all. Oh, another one. I love this kind of thing. This is killing people. I can't wait for a certain part of this game. It's gonna be amazing. Here we go. There are... At least there should be. Is there not? Is there not one here? Oh, yeah, here they are. The pots are across the sides of the room. Fairies, blah, blah, blah. We don't need them, so let's go. Twilight of the Lake and Night are first. Here we go. The idea is to aim an arrow at the light. Uh, hold on. And then iron boots yourselves to get this. Kind of 
a weird thing, but it works. He falls down. Let go of that. I go, go, oh, turn off the iron boots. Take out your sword. A attack. All right, here we go. And there's that. Now if we can quickly grab this. Back on the iron boots. Oh, he, uh, he got rid of my grab. Excuse me, did I say you can randomly swing? No. Alright, I think we do have to stun him. Do I have it? Hey, 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 go crab, crab. Alright, here we go. Like, do we really just knock him over? I don't think we do. I mean, seriously. Oh, I thought I killed them the way he went for no reason. All right. Let's just get him back to stun mode, shall we? So this is pretty much it in this boss. I mean, it's not really that hard, to be honest. All right. He got the sword, and he gone! Well done. Now we have two huge shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far. So I support, I'll tell you an interesting story. Sand. That's the name of the king of darkness. You cast this pale of shadows over your world. He's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Sand will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. It still appalls me to me that this world of light is controlled by that princess. A carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach duty? But I guess I shouldn't be begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all, and I would never wish harm on her. No, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, I'll be just fine. Okay. Well, there's one more left, shall we? Uh, yep. But first, we have a heart container. Our life is increased by one, and it's been fully been punished. So now we got six hearts. And this is the patronage that we saved. Ugh. Hmm? I'm not even here. Ugh, my head, it aches. Yes. Alright, uh, Minda, I guess we're ready to go? I don't know if I'm even saying her name right, but I don't really care. She's an awesome player. player. She's an awesome character. That's all I, that's all you have to know. <laughs> 